I was in here the other day, really nice store. So I'm gonna to try to record in here. I don't know if they'll let us, but let's see. St. Patty's Day display. Gardening area. And all their little fairy house um, accessories. their Easter stuff out. These are cute. These are nice. Nice party, party, um, section. I actually need some of these. Um, I'm going to throw these in my cart today. Let's go back to spring and see what we can find. Dollar Tree always has a really, really good um, party section. Multitude of cards. On this side of the party section, they've got everything for weddings baby showers the other side was primarily for like kids birthdays and whatnot more more birthday party things really good candle section too all your bows Cleaning supplies. I love this section. This is um, cake decorating. Something new they have here. They have these that um, you just unscrew the, the cover and then your um, tips will fit on there with no problem. So it kind of eliminates the bag sculpting tools for like your gum paste and whatnot. All kinds of sprinkles and all kinds of cake boards. So pretty decent section for that. More cleaning supplies down here. That's the toy section in that area and I'm going to kind of refrain from that. It's pretty busy. All these little storage containers. Books as far as the eye can see. Yeah. 
Planting accessories. This is cute. I need none of these things, but this is kind of cute. Put a candle in or something. Now, I did notice in here the other day that um, their food section is still a dollar. Now, I don't know if that's because this is just a new Dollar Tree and it's something to draw folks in. Uh, but most Dollar Trees are now a dollar twenty-five across the board for everything. Oh, this is cute too. What would I do with this? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to throw it in my cart. And this one too. Cute. I have all the wreath forms here. Fake succulents and vines. Some more artificial flowers. These are kind of cute. Put your tea light in there. Yarn over here in the crafting section. All your scrapbooking things. Vinyl paper, vinyl, um, sticky paper for your crickets. Tools and accessories. Candles, potpourri, incense. More crafting things. I'm not a crafter, so, um, but this is a pretty extensive crafting area. Our Mardi Gras things. And the crafting goes on and on and on. Then have um, they even have a glue gun and well, I don't see any glue sticks. They're probably here somewhere. Um, but they have a glue gun for a buck and a quarter. That's pretty cheap. Again, I don't see I'm not seeing the glue sticks, but I'm sure they're here. Some snacks. Flops are out. Pretty good baby selection. Hardware and household painting supplies, super glue. kinds of hangers, six of these plastic type for buck and a quarter, or if you want to get fancy, you can have these velvety non-slip ones. Those are two for a buck and a quarter. These are cute as well. I like buffalo chuck. So these are, um, these little storage cubes are cute. Household cleaning still. Pet section coming up. Stuff for all your kitty cats. 
doggy training pads, all your doggy supplies, more cleaning. And these are pretty cool for a buck and a quarter. You buy the stick, but then you can buy individual heads and switch them out. They've got a push broom, a regular household broom. They've got a, a sponge mop. And then regular mops, but they also have this um, section here. And you can go ahead and put, um, you know, all the different heads on they have here. So for a buck twenty-five pretty decent I don't think you could buy it uh, cheaper than that at Walmart with a stick and um, this portion and all of these different cleaning um, cleaning pads this one says um, what does it say the mop pad this one is a heavy duty mop pad and this one is for dusting All our Snell goods. I'm addicted to these. Put these in my linen closet. Also put them in my walk-in closet. Um, but I always have a pretty good supply of those at home. The laundry supplies. This end cap has all kinds of bathing things. I'll come down this aisle later because they're stocking. Have the Body Armor Sport Drinks, which are pretty expensive if you go somewhere else. And also, they have coat products, which they normally have not carried. Luggage tags if you're planning a trip. And all of your food down here. I've got a couple of aisles of food. And one of my um, viewers had said that their Dollar Tree doesn't really have um, a frozen food section or refrigerated food section. So we're going to hit on that today too. But if you look, they have everything. Potatoes. I do buy things at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is something that I stock in my cabinet a lot. The refried beans. I do make my own, but hey, it doesn't hurt to have them in the cabinet in case you don't want to. I stock this for the kids. I have tried these pizza crusts. They are extremely good. The gnocchi I have not tried. I do get all of my dried beans here, as well as my egg noodles. I do my pasta because you are getting um, you are getting 20 ounces as opposed to a regular pound, and even at a dollar 25, that's pretty good. Um, I think you can actually get the Hunt's um, canned sauce a little less expensive at Walmart, uh, but you know, if not, they're here. I do keep this in my cabinet too for emergencies. The, um, I still call it Parmalat milk, but it's just shelf stable milk. I usually keep the whole milk in there uh, on my shelf, uh, some 2%, and also plain almond milk. I don't see any of that today. They've got the vanilla flavored, but I usually get the plain and keep that in there as well. Granola bars, Dollar Tree brand Pop Tarts. All kinds of cereal. Cake mixes, frostings. I mean, you name it, it's at the Dollar Tree. I think I tried this beef stew once and didn't like it. Um, all kinds of potted meat that I reviewed in my one uh, video. Vienna sausages, all kinds. Your canned 
pasta, some chicken broth, cream of chicken, all kinds of soups, tunas, world famous ramen, and I ain't gonna lie, I do get this. I love this. Not very often because it's not good for me, but I do eat that. Yeah, so as I'm looking, it seems like some of the food items are $1.25, like down in this area. But then when you get up here to the canned veggies, the ramens, um, some of the soups, like just in this particular area, kind of starts from this ramen section to here. It's still a dollar. I like to keep some of these canned uh, potatoes in my cabinet too for emergencies if I want some home fries or, you know, want to throw something together for breakfast. Um, beets I usually get here because they're a little cheaper. They have the refried beans in a can as well. Um, same identical thing as what I usually stock in that um, pouch, but I can just store the pouch easier, so that's what I get. All kinds of snacky cookies. They actually have some of these little snack pies here as well. All kinds of bag candies. All your gummies. It's a pretty good Dollar Tree, I have to say. I'm a little impressed. They have a cold section here with some drinks. They've got some aloe water, grape flavored aloe water. They've got hint water. Propel. They got some uh, energy drinks that are cold. Gatorade. That's on this side. More energy drinks. Some teas. Some Welch's sodas and Arizona's over here. Got all your snacky things over in this area. More snacks, and this is the actual snack aisle. You know what I'm looking for, and I haven't found it forever, is um, um, the crab chips. I don't know if you've ever had those, the crab flavor chips. But I haven't seen those in forever. I think hers used to have some. More snacks. All kinds of dips. I got guacamole, nacho cheese, French onion, and a jalapeno cheddar. I have not tried these. Um, but maybe I should. More chips. Getting into the cookies and crackers. All kinds of storage bags. Even they have even have the the huge um, um, super sized ones, so you can put like loaves of bread and big items. Freezer bags. I do get some of these and just keep them on hand once in a while. The humongous ones, because you never know when you're going to need it for something. All kinds of trash bags. Aluminum foil. Foil containers. Pretty good spice section as well. This is the big thing, black pepper. Black pepper is expensive. So to get it for a buck and a quarter, pretty good deal. Sometimes I'll buy spices here. Most of the time I get them at um, Ocean State Job Lots. And I'll take you for a tour through there in the near future as well. All your condiments. Olives. 
paint plastic containers down here. They also have some apple cider vinegar. I usually get these kosher dills and the um, roasted red peppers. Have a display with placemats and matching coasters. All your storage containers over here. Pitchers, even a deviled egg keeper. I think this is a cupcake, a cupcake holder over here. I think this is a snack on the go. You can put something on each end. Put it together and put it in your desk or wherever. more storage contact paper which I mean that's pretty huge contact paper for a buck and a quarter and um, your shelf liners as well and your non non skid shelf liners kid things bowls with straws for their cereal milk. I did daycare quite a few years ago and always had these. Kids loved them. They each had their own color that I assigned them so they didn't have to fight over whose plate was whose. All kinds of cups. And travel cups. Got a kitchen section, all kinds of towels, pot holders, more placemats, parchment paper. This whole section is microwavable containers. All kinds of utensils, cooking utensils. And some glassware. So I had a me as that um, dairy and frozen food section that one of my viewers wanted me to highlight. So let's take a look and see what they've got. And again, a dollar twenty-five for everything. They've got margarine, imperial margarine, a lot of juices, lemonade. They have um, these cheeses. These in the bag are processed cheese products, as are these singles. But these here, the pepper jack and the mild cheddar, those are 100% um, cheese. So if you are going to buy something, you know, get these. These here, they really don't melt very well. They got some cage-free eggs. Uh, most Dollar Trees do have them in a dozen, uh, medium, but these seem to be um, in half dozens, and they are cage-free. All kinds of smoked sausage, hot dogs, including chicken and turkey, bologna. This is all Bar S brand. Smoked ham, some Lunchables. Theo snaps, which are awesome. More Lunchables. This is imitation sour cream, FYI. Um, just to let you know, it's not real sour cream. Um, the string cheese is real cheese. They do have cream cheese um, imitation, actually. It's cream cheese style blend. So make sure you're really reading your labels. And this is the best rice pudding you will ever have, just to let you know. That is delicious. We're going into the frozen section. They got some Jimmy Dean um, hash browns, breakfast sticks, some breakfast burritos, 
French toast sticks, a breakfast hot pocket with sausage, egg, and cheese, some more Jimmy Dean sandwiches down here, and I did a review on those, so don't, don't um, uh, forget that. Take a look at that video. They have the brown and serve banquet breakfast combos. Here's a French toast and sausage, and they even have um, a breakfast hot pie. Down here they have sausage, sausage links, and sausage chubs. I have not had the chubs. I have had the links. They are excellent. Um, they have the french fries. Only thing I can tell you about the french fries is that if you're going to use them, leave them in longer than what the package calls for because they are for some reason going to take a little bit of a longer time to brown. Um, same things with these tater rounds, which are tater tots, waffle fries. I have not used the hash browns. I know some folks that have and made uh, what's called funeral potatoes. Um, if you're not familiar with that, let me know in the comments and I'll let you know what that is. It's basically like a, a hash brown casserole that people take to potlucks, but obviously did it at funerals at one point and that's how they got their name. They do have broccoli cuts winter blend, a California blend, they have a Santa Fe blend up here, which is, um, I don't know, I'm going to see that one, let's take a look. So Santa Fe blend, um, looks like corn, black beans, red pepper, green pepper, and diced onion, 12 ounces. So... That's something new. I have never seen that. Hot pies, potato sticks. What does that say? Uh, real baked potato, cheddar cheese, sour cream, uh, flavored with bacon and a crispy golden coating. So I don't know. To me, that kind of looks like a potato egg roll, maybe. Looks like it might be good. And I don't know what this is. Let's take a look at this. A Bosco stick. What is that? Oh, it's like a, a cheese-filled breadstick. They have chicken nuggets, regular and spicy, beef patties, the one with cheddar and bacon flavor, one regular, and even veggie patties. All of your Texas toast, soft pretzels, have the mini dogs that I reviewed at one point, all kinds of hot pockets, ravioli, what I'm not seeing here, unless I'm missing it, um, some Dollar Trees do have quite a good uh, fish selection too, they have trout, they have salmon, they have cod. Uh, tilapia. I don't see that here, uh, but normally it would be in this section. They do have some uh, popcorn shrimp over here, and it's usually in this area. All kinds of snack bites, taco bites, pizza bites, individual pizzas. They have Celeste and a different brand down here. These egg rolls are excellent. Just put them in the oven, as well as these burritos. I haven't tried the Jamaican beef patties. All kinds of TV dinners. I'm actually going to grab one of these. Because my kids love them. Like this little, um, like Japanese um, ice cream treats. So I'll grab a few of those. What am I getting? Um, strawberry, mango, and we'll do a cookies and cream. They do have ice cream, sundaes, bars, Cool Whip, these little sundaes. Italian ice, frozen meatballs, Italian
Italian seasoning and uh, regular and all these little sundaes as well. So pretty good freezer section. And I do just want to go down the food section one more time. Just to point out a couple of things we may have missed because um, it was a little busy. I don't think I hit on um, this area here. They have all the Sunny D's, juice boxes, Yoo-Hoo, there's some strawberry banana, uh, nectar over here, some mango, guava, and some mango juice, all your Arizonas, tacos, tostados, all kinds of rice. So pretty good, a pretty good Dollar Tree. Like I said, this is one of the newer ones, um, typical of the ones that I usually go to in this area. So I'm gonna go cash out and I'll meet you in the parking lot.